Thank you, Mr. President. Members, I must rise in, in opposition, and I wanted to share with you why uh, I'm in opposition. Not that we don't have a lot of challenges out there. Obviously, on a day where we have heat hotter than it's normally been, but I was here under Prop 1 where we negotiated a deal that said we were actually going to do storage, above ground storage, and I voted for the bond myself, Prop 1 in 2014, and here we are in 2024 and we've not put one drop of water in storage. And the projects, with, with, by, the, by the way, records amount of money in our general fund to help out cost match. And so what are we laying on the future of our grandchildren and our children? The fact that we can't deliver a project in California when we put bonds up. And I'd like to just, I'm going to make this very simple. We're already paying. This is a $10 billion bond. For every billion dollars that you bond, it's $500 million in debt service off the top of your general, uh, uh, top of your budget every year. So $10, million, $10 billion when it's fully bonded out will be a half a billion dollars every year that we have to pay back. It's double the size of the bond, so it'll be $20 billion. The legislature passed and the governor, Governor Schwarzenegger signed into law AB 32, cap and trade program, and it generates, pay attention, $5 billion a year. 2024-25 uh, budget for cap and trade was $5.6 billion. Now, I want to read off where, those, where the money goes to. $1.179 billion goes to high-speed rail. $943 million goes to affordable housing and community programs. Transit and intercity ca uh, rail uh, capital programs, $471 million. Low-carbon transit operation programs, $236 million. Safe and affordable drinking water program, $130 million. There's still two and a half, almost $3 billion left over every year. So between now and 2050, which the author stated we're going to have to spend hundreds of billion dollars, this fund, staying on the same track that it is, will generate $135 billion off the backs of taxpayers today to do what? To reduce carbon and help California lead the way in the nation uh, when it comes to climate change. So members, I, I would love to get up here as, a, as somebody who sat on the Sierra Nevada Conservancy Board for seven years and did lots of land conservation deals and did a lot of good work. Um, but at the end of the day, I just can't support a bill when we already have $5 billion a year going into cap and trade program, which is a tax on energy, gasoline, all the things that make it unaffordable to live in California. And now on top of that, we're going to add another $10 billion on top of that. So I will be voting no against SB 876 and trying to secure a future for my children to be able to stay in California.